Y'all, I'm Jules. Welcome back to another episode of Spirit Sherpa, the show that helps and encourages you on your journey to unlock your magic mojo. With me, as always, is the spirit doctor, Kelly Sparta. Hello, Kelly. How's your week going? Hello. It's going awesome. I love when the universe talks to me, and it's talking to me from 50 directions at once, which is both confusing and edifying. <laughs> It's like, oh, look, I'm getting 50 different messages. How do I put them together? The answer is you don't. You let them percolate and they come together of their own accord. So if you end up in a space where the universe is talking to you and giving you messages from 50 directions. And, you know, I have so many friends who are psychic and so many friends who are great coaches. And so, you know, every time I turn around, there's somebody else who's slowing, who's handing me another piece of the puzzle. I'm, you know, they're like, well, what's going on with you? And I'm like, oh, well, this. And they're like, oh, here. Boom. Right. <laughs> Everybody is doing this to me. And so um, and then, you know, just random things showing up around me. So like, it turns out that Boquete is turning into Lily Dale, New York. And if you I don't have know no idea Lilligan, what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, somewhere back in the 30s or 40s, somewhere around there, um, a bunch of psychics moved to Lily Dale, New York. And Lily Dale is now the center for psychic readings. It is, you know, it is the place to go for psychic readings. And so Boquete is kind of, it, it, it's, it, it's just happening. You know, I was talking to people who've been living here for years and they're like, yeah, this is weird because we haven't had any spiritual stuff here at all in the whole time I've lived here. And I've been here like 10, 12 years. And right now, somebody put a post on one of the community groups and said, hey, I'd really love to have a spiritual community. And like 50 people said, yes, me too, me too, me too, me too. And so now not one, not two, but three different spiritual groups are forming and they're all doing cool. different aspects of the work. And it's not just newbies. It is a whole lot of elders who have just decided to retire here and, or move here like me, cause I'm not retired, but you know, it, no, you're it's not, you have a lot more lot. to do. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I got shit to do, but exactly. it's, yeah, um, I got way too much to say. I haven't even had a chance to write down like a third of even what I want to say. So yes. Okay. Uh, but, but they're all showing up and it's not just beginners. It's, it's advanced practitioners here. So it's, I am very interested to see what shakes out as we go through this process, because something is coming here. Um, and you know, when you add to it, the magic of the mountain, uh, the volcano of Baru is just, the energy here is amazing. They, they call it tranquilo, right? Uh, it's just tranquility, right? Mm. Uh, it, it's almost impossible to get angry here. And if you do manage it, you, you can't sustain it for long. It's just crazy. Um, so there's, there's all of this is coming together and I'm just watching it and I'm like, huh. That's interesting. I wonder what that's going to be. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see it evolve. But yeah, it's been fun. That's very cool. That's yeah. very cool and exciting. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you, you put those intentions out there and the universe goes, <laughs> hold my beer. And, you know, <laughs> things happen. Trust me. Hold my that's the beer. ultimate. <laughs> Yes, that is the ultimate <laughs> hold my beer moment. Oh my God, that's funny. I love you so much. I, <laughs> you know, well, I swear because, and you know, the universe has a great sense of humor. And, and just when you think it's done like, oh, it goes, <laughs> just wait, <laughs> that ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm, mm. Round the world, double snap. Yes, I went old school. So, <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> well, speaking of the universe, like, you know, providing, it has provided us an awesome guest today. Yes. We, we, we have Dan with us today. 
Yes. So little known fact, uh, unless you listen to the last episode he was on, in which case, you know, um, <laughs> Dan was my coach in what, like 2009. Is that right? Something like that. Um, or 2011, somewhere around there. I don't know. Um, but back when I was still just sort of barely getting by, I was, you know, I was making ends meet, but only sort of, you know, um, and uh, he helped me to get over the hump. He helped me to to recognize what I wasn't doing and to walk me through my resistance because he was like, you need to do more of your spiritual stuff and you need to, you know, be more of your spiritual self and do your healing work and do your, your sound healing and your psychic stuff. And I was like, I don't want to do the po dog and pony show is what my answer was. <laughs> Okay, you're literally telling your coach this. Why am I not surprised? And, it, it, and it, he's experienced, and he's like, this is what you need to do, da 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 because this is what he does. And you're like, nah, not so much. Right. <laughs> That's basically the story of my entire spiritual evolution, just for the record. <laughs> then, cause, now, now, mind you, Dan, if you've ever listened to the episodes, you will hear Kelly say, oh, I've told my spirit guys to fuck off plenty of times. You know, I'm not doing that. Fuck you. Not happening. You know, <laughs> so, so trust me when I say and coming, I was, um, you know, a binging listener. That's how I got involved with Kelly and all. Please tell all of us listeners, how did you handle Kelly? And <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Like, I've just been laughing the whole time listening to you speak and. Yeah, Kelly. Wow. Yeah, I just remember I had to really take charge with her. It's been my experience because <laughs> she's like, right? she's like, I don't know about that. I'm on this. I'm on this. And but when she gets aligned, when she gets focused, she's like, Yeah, this is it. Like, look out. Now it's now it's lights out. You know. So that's been my experience work with Kelly in part. Like, there's so many stories we've known each other. Like you mentioned recently, 13 years. So I mean, there's a lot of stories. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stories, I'm sure. I, I'm afraid to let you tell them because I don't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know them all. That's all right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, I forgot a lot of them too, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember um, one of the things that we talked about is you taught me the concept of using an energy scan to get people into, into the work that I do. And that's actually what caused me to do those 3,000 energy scans that I then based my book, The the uh, Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth in Record Time, which has way too long a title. Um, <laughs> but I, I used the information from all those energy scans that you uh, encouraged me to do to write that book and to develop the, the whole system that I, I did. And, and I remember you looking at me going, I could teach you my energy scan process, but you don't need it. You could do your own. And I'm like, right. uh, okay, probably, but what, what, what exactly am I looking for? <laughs> and you're like, oh, just, you know, the chakras and what's in them. And so, of course, you know, what you teach and what I do are probably very, very different because that was the sum total of the, the instruction that I received. And I just <laughs> created my own system out of it. And so, yeah. but, uh, but you were right. You know, you knew that I could create it and, and that it would be uniquely mine. And that's exactly what right. it turned out to be, right? Um, and that's, that's kind of the thing about working with people in our genre, right? In our field is that you know the, the the hardest thing about being a coach for people in this genre is not substituting your stuff for theirs right making sure that their stuff comes shining through and mm -hmm. um and and then there's the navigating the the universe loves me or it hates me or it's been supporting me or it's not supporting me blah 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 because blah, we've all been there right <laughs> Right, right, and and that's the subject for today. And and so before we get into that, I did I, I gave you a lead in that said you used to be my coach, but I didn't say who who you were or anything about you. So let me tell people who you are. Um, for those of you who have not been to his podcast yet, uh, you have uh, Rock Your Sacred Purpose. Is that right? Or no, well, Spiritual Rock Star is the name of your right, podcast. You got it. Right? Yeah, yes, Spiritual right. Rock Star is the name of the podcast. And then <clears throat> um, his website is yoursacredpurpose.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
he does a wide variety of things. Why don't you tell a little bit about what you do with uh, spiritual people so that they have an idea of who you are and where you're coming from as you're giving your advice? Yeah, right now I'm primarily focused on the spiritual entrepreneur, of course, which I really always sort of have been. And I'm really focused on helping spiritual entrepreneurs, usually they're coaches and healers, trainers, consultants, people along those lines. And I help them to, you know, honestly, I haven't messaged it this way a lot recently, but I really do help them to claim their deeper true power and really understand how their true gifts and then translate that into doing their their next thing that's speaking to their soul because it's soul aligned you know doing their soul aligned mission in the world and i help them to do that by guiding them on the practical steps that need to be taken in the business and guide them along that process to create the offerings and the the value they have to share with the world and then how does it want to break, be brought out there in a way that feels fun and joyful and light and all those sort of things. And we more like that than, ah, <laughs> 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 I gotta do this, ah, I gotta find clients, ah, like, but more like, ah, I get to, oh my God, just working. Like, that's what I love to create for my clients. And so I find like the people I work with are really powerhouses. Usually they've had successes in their life. And then what I do is I just help them flip that switch to do it in their spiritual business, based business, because whatever reason people have these disconnects between spirituality and power and money and all this stuff. So I help them realize, no, it's okay. We can play here, play full out. And so that's the found energetic foundation of where I'm coming from. And then, yeah, there's tactics, there's strategies and all the rest come into that. And yeah, I do a lot of things to support certain clients. Some some of them I do go as far as helping them manage their business and copywriting and all this stuff. I can only do so many things. I love it all the I was making telemarketing calls this morning for a client. I mean, it's fun. It it it's fun. I get to dabble in different things that way. And then I get to learn more how to make all these different little systems more efficient and effective and fun and so it's it's a great adventure, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never yeah, so... get bored, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I try not to. That's Seriously. Not I love bored. it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So today we're going to tackle one of what I see the most when I look at people who are newer in the process. And, and even those of us further along, we get in these spaces every now and again which is uh, what I'd like to refer to as the panic pivot, right? It's the, oh crap, that didn't work. Let me, let me go somewhere else. And, and it's usually right after you've thrown spaghetti on the wall and hoped it would stick. And you gave it all of like, you know, five days, maybe 10 to stick. And then you went, the universe didn't line up behind me and people didn't start coming in. All they didn't come running to me. So this must not be the right thing and the universe must not be behind me. And I have to go figure something else out. Right. And then they go into confusion and, and lack of clarity and blah, blah, blah. Right. I'm a failure. Why is this happening to me? Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> We've yeah. all been there. So we're having so much fun with this. Right. We've all done it before. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Been there so many times. I, I, I'm 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 stunned. I got out <laughs> so many times I was there. So. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's always this this um, lack of clarity piece, which for the longest time I thought was something real, and then later realized that it was actually a resistance, um, and that's really fascinating to me. So, uh, you know, lack of clarity is just simply not trusting yourself to do what you know you need to do. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's extraordinarily true because that's often what I say to my clients. I'm like. They say, well, I'm not clear, right? And you've dealt with this a lot too, Kelly, with your client. I'm not clear. I don't really know what it is. I'm like, that's a lie. You actually do at some level know what's what's true when they put it to me that way. I'm like, no, you do. So if you knew what was true, then what's true? And sometimes they still play the game. No, I don't know. But we get to it faster sometimes when people give me that as their excuse. I'm like, no, you actually do know. You do know. And I always say you always know your one next step. So what's your next step, though? What's your one next step? So everybody's like, oh, it's got to be vastly complex and complicated. There's got to be 100 million different steps to build my business. It's like, it's like, no, there's like 
the more simplified, the better. Like, how can you do it in the most simplified way possible and allow it come from that place? But people, let's do ads. And I mean, I'm not against ads. I, I again, I support all these different things. Let's do ads, and let's let's, let's try to build up the Facebook group. And let's try to get them there, and then let's do it on my profile page, and then let's do the emails, and then let's. I mean, it just it goes on and on of just oh, we got to start our podcast. Let's try a book. Let's try. To, we try so many different things, and yet there's these like very simple, more efficient clear ways it could just happen it could just like really expand your business and i do find it's much better optimally to start for most people everyone's a little different to start with just one maybe two max like lead generation tools when we get into like lead generation here just start with that and just really crush it there and then we could look at add okay that's autumn and you get it automated even right then you can build other systems but they're just constantly be just throwing shit around, hoping something's going to work. It's not a great strategy overall. It's yeah. not a great strategy. Yeah. Well, and and you know, I I think that that's sort of the advanced level of what I was talking about with the panic pivot too, right? Because yeah. the the panic pivot is initially the what do I offer a thing. Right. It's the, you know, well, I, I'm, I'm good at all of these things. And that's usually the big problem, right? Is that I'm good at way too many things and I can't offer them all. And so I'm just going to do a two hour class here and a two hour class there and a half day workshop here and a full day workshop there. And <laughs> da, 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 and none of them are connected and none of them are coherent. And, and it's just a whole bunch of random stuff that you're kind of interested in teaching. Right. right. And so there's no coherency to your message and there's no coherency to your path. And so you're literally going off in 15 different directions and then wondering why you're not getting anywhere because you aren't going in a single direction and you're frittering your energy in way too many spaces, right? Mm -hmm. And and then it, once you commit to a path, and one of the best pieces of advice I ever got was actually from a coach named Taki Moore. And he said, do one program with one lead magnet to one target market using one social media channel or one, you know, one, one marketing channel right. for one year. And mm -hmm. if you do that, you will be successful. And I will tell you that that was true for me. And so mm -hmm. it, the, the discipline to do that was intense, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, even today I have empowered my assistant every time I come up with a wild new idea, which I do every two or three months. Um, <laughs> I, two or three I, minutes, I, you said, right? right? Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I have empowered her to look at me and say, we are not doing that this year. No. Right, right, right. <laughs> she's, she's my no girl, right? <laughs> it's just like, because yeah, yeah. I'm the yes girl. I'm yes to everything. And she's like, no, you no. can't do that. And I'm like, right. please? And she's like, no. <laughs> but it would be fun. No. I'm like, Okay. Well, my angels are saying, and they're all saying yes, 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 right? <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's never yeah. my case. My case is that's just your case. Well, it is for some people. <laughs> some people say yeah. I'm inspired. My, I can hear Archangel Michael or whoever it is. You know, they're all saying yes. They're all saying yes. Yeah. What's your bottom line in your body saying? Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. Like, let me check it out. Out. <laughs> Maybe not. Right. So yeah. we have to look at like right where you're sitting in this this dimension in this space right here on Earth. Like, what's the real truth? What's the bottom line? We get lots of inspiration. People like me and Kelly. Yeah, we sit there and just come up with billion dollar ideas all day long. Oh, I don't do those too. And I, <laughs> but you know, as far as what we're supposed to actually ourselves put our attention to, you know, it's it's very much, very much more narrow. And and I've done it. I, I've been I've been that person that's like, let's do one of these and let's do that. And you know, I'm a channel. Let's just do spiritual stuff. And now let's do business stuff. And let's let's do some life coaching. I got this other thing I share about men's empowerment. I mean. And, and I do do all those things, but it's got to happen in a certain sequence, order, flow, et cetera. Otherwise, it will not It will not be ultimately satisfying. It might be like, oh, it's so fun in the moment. And then you look at your bottom line in your business, you're like, crap, my business sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what happens yes. when you just go moving all over the place, right? <laughs> yeah. Piss all, all over right. the place, which is not the results you want. <laughs> so if I came to you and... 
I don't know if you can use a, a, a client, you know, no names mentioned, but I'll say, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll come to you, right? We're going to make this up. And yeah. I have a business and I'll, I'll just say, um, I'm, I'm a Reiki too. We're going to pretend that I'm a Reiki master and that I'm opening up a business. We're going to pretend that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And say, okay, so I can go work in the salon and then I can also take clients at my house. Oh, but I'm kind of psychic too. So I kind of want to do like the tarot readings and all of that. And I can market myself on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all the social media. And I want to do all this stuff and go. <laughs> so, so how do you help? First thing I'm going to ask you is how tired are you? <laughs> doing all of that. that would be a great question, right? That would be one, one approach. I'd be like, I would usually, it's like, I just, I just give them a download of what I actually heard that they're really meant to be doing. Oh, it sounds like you're a psychic consultant and you ought to do it at a high level or something like that. Like it, that's what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing all this other noise. I'm, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing from source right now. That's what we, we want to focus you on. Uh, oh, everything, okay. else okay. avoiding, everything else is avoiding stepping into your deeper power, right? It's like, let me diffuse myself all over the place so I'm not called a heret too much of a heretic. I don't get strung up again like I have in all my past lives. Let me just do all that to keep it safe and make a little bit of money and maybe it'll work out, right? It's like, no, boom, just do your thing. You know, you're safe. You got the ghost signal. You already did the persecution game, all right? It's time to thrive <laughs> this lifetime now. Let's do it. You're meant to be rich doing this stuff. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a Reiki. About, how do you hear, feel about hearing you're meant to be rich? Because you do realize that you're talking about this. You're making, quote unquote, making this up, but you're not. Right. So, yeah. Right. So how do you feel about hearing you're meant to be rich? For me, I'm I'm happy with that. Trust me. I'm, I'm like, woohoo, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. What do you so if I, if I, if I, if I, if I hear that this is your, what you're supposed to be doing and, and this is your path and you're going to be, um, I always say finan uh financially peaceful you know like i don't have to worry about stuff i'm gonna be rich you know and uh for me my ultimate which i think would be so fun you know i'm this millionaire woman and i just donate to you know i hear about a single mom who is having trouble with her utility bill <laughs> paid for a year you know and mm -hmm. i and i'll do all that anonymously do you know how much fun that right. would be oh my god that would be so much fun oh my god be so much fun <laughs> And so, oh, I mean, so advantage of that are you? I'd be like, don't you want to have all that fun? Let's go. You're like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. How do I get there? You know? So it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna have my Reiki practice and da da da. But wait, but you know, I'm kind of getting really good at you know tuning in on people and giving them Reiki, and I might want to go into being like a, a med how you call it a medical intuitive. We're going to make, mm -hmm. I, I think that's the right word. Yep. So right. Right word. a medical intuitive, and then I can work in hospitals and well, I'm making this up and, and, and work with clients or mm -hmm. whatever. And so, so you actually look at all the information I'm giving you and mm -hmm. you go through, kick out all the noise and right. then you get all the information just direct from source going, no, nope, this is what she's supposed to be doing. Right. Right. And you'll know it, too, eventually. First, you might be like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And all of a sudden, I'll be like, you know what? I think you're right. I'm feeling it. Yeah, you know, that's for me. I want to go in that direction. But, yeah, some are people are more like stubborn than others at first. But yeah, they've, eventually people come around. <laughs> yeah. You can be like me and kick and scream the whole time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, I ain't doing it. No way. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I don't want to do the dog and pony show came out of my mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone <laughs> around me for months. That's all they heard. So, um, yeah. So, but this is what we do, right? We resist, we resist and mm -hmm. that's the pattern. And so initially we do the work in ourselves and then we have to do the work in our businesses. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I want to come back to the panic pivot cause that's where we started and that's what the, mm -hmm. we promised with the title of the episode. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> when, when you launch something and you don't, you, you, you throw it up and you give it like a week, maybe two to be successful. <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, well, nobody keeps locking in. I must have to do something else. Okay. So, what you're doing is you're handing an intention to the universe and you're telling the universe, this is what I want. And then two weeks later, you yank it back and go, oh, never mind. 
And then you put something else out and you say, this is what I want. And then two weeks later, you yank it back and say, oh, never mind. Right. And the whole time you're going, well, the universe is my parent and it isn't delivering. And therefore, it must not want me to have this. Mm -hmm. And the, the inherent problem is not the universe or its approval or disapproval. The inherent problem is seeing the universe as a parent and not as a partner and not seeing it as a you tell it what to do and it goes and does it. But you've got to give mm -hmm. it time and you've got to give energy to what you're doing in order for it to and, you know, give it and then give it time to show up because you're building energy in a direction. Right. And right. so you've got to build that energy up. And uh, the biggest challenge I see and the biggest one that I faced was this constant, well, how about this direction? How about that direction? I don't know which direction, blah, 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 blah. I'll, I'll go here, I'll go there, I'll go the other place, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, then waiting for everything to, to percolate. Um, and if you're like me and you have the, the misfortune to be about 10 years ahead of your time, you will launch things way too early <laughs> And then come back around to them 10 years later and go, oh, it's time for this now, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're doing that in my business right now. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's uh, right. yeah, I mean, it's just sort of the nature of the beast. So, um, but there is, there is a lot to be said for that. And so, Dan, I'm sure you have stuff to say yeah. on that subject, too. Yeah, the people... Like I can think of some of my clients right now, they might be like, let's say if someone's on Instagram, I'm like hypersensitive to confidentiality of people. So, so let's say someone was on Instagram and they're doing reels and maybe they're actually having some success, but then we talk about, okay, but okay, double down on that and, you know, get more intentional and, and focus more on that. You know, but I was also thinking of going local and I was thinking about doing this other thing, like show up bigger here. Well, I thought I could do this other thing though too. And so even when it's, it's like you said, like if it's not working, it's one thing like, yeah, like people stop right away often. That's a whole issue. I see that too. But even if it's working to go to that aspect, it may be working to a degree and then, oh, well, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure. And, and yet this same, same person might tell me like, I know if I just trust it, it'll all work, but I don't know what it, should I do these other things? <laughs> and it's just all a matter of, I'm not willing to trust the universe enough to just set my intention, get very intentional, just know these are the results I'm intending by going in this direction, period. You know, that people don't do that a lot in this industry. Like they do not just set the intention very clear, coming up from the connection of source, the, more of that like intuitive, like, I just, I just want X, I want, I want five clients this month and you know, this is the way I want to create it. You know, this is the way I want to manifest that, right? And just trust that feeling you get. Like that's the way, I don't know how it's going to work, but that's what I, the way it wants to happen. I could feel it, you know, I can feel it or you get an, a, an inkling of it at least. You know, it's a possibility. And then at least if it's possibility and you can lean into it and then it becomes reality. I had one client recently He's like, I told, he's got, he's done work with like thousands and thousands of clients, ton, ton, he's just done tons of transformation work for people. And yet he doesn't have anybody referring to him because he's shut down around referrals. Not because he isn't good enough, because he hasn't opened his energy, much less ask anybody for referrals. And after one, um, I've been talking to him for, after, for a while about this, but I, I, after one session of really pointing the energy on it and saying, Okay, listen, you've got to go down this pathway of opening the referrals. You, heck, you know, you, you know, you, this is you, uh, bottom line. Like, again, giving out too much information. And the next thing you know, uh, even without he take, he just got open to the possibility. And then he was just like, yes, you're right. Hallelujah. Okay, let's do it. And then he had like three people out of the blue, like, start referring to him right away. Like we didn't do anything on the physical level to take new actions, but it all, it just, boom, it just happens. And that's what happens. It's so one of the things, one of the gifts I have for people that are open, like in my own life, it happens when I get clear on something, I just bring in the intention. I was like, this is happening. And then, and then bang, in no time flat, right? It starts happening. And I'm sure listeners have had this experience, right? When you get clear, then things are going to happen. 
And yeah, the mechanism, the strategy is usually pretty simple and clear. It's not like some highly complex thing you've got to figure out all the time. Sometimes it is. If that's the kind of fun you like to have, maybe it becomes complex. we got to figure out this funnel and it's all going to work. If that's part of your fun and for your spirit, like you really want to do that, then that's fine. I don't, I'm not against any of that. I'm like, what lights you up? What do you want to do? What do you want to create? What's your, your thing? And then we create that. So whatever it is, is a matter of getting clear about what kind of fun you want to have and then creating that as long as you're not BSing yourself, which happens quite a lot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, Y'all got to keep uh, it I real, people. <laughs> yeah. I got kicked out of the recording for a second, so I missed some of what you said. So if I repeat you, that's why. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, that's yeah. It's all good. So, you know, a lot of this comes down to inner belief structure. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of it is, um, oh, that's weird. It said it started recording again. From scratch. I'm hoping it kept recording while I was gone. It did. We'll find out. I was watching. I did. was watching the little. Yeah, the little red light. Okay, and now, right. oh, oh, she says. <laughs> now she's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god. There she is. All right. <laughs> Nothing like losing coherency in the middle of an episode. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. It's so, um, yeah, so a lot of this comes down to uh, the inner belief structure, right? It's, it's mm-hmm. what we, what we will allow ourselves to have. And now she's gone <laughs> and what we will not allow ourselves to have. So, um, you know, the, I think that a lot of times when people are successful and they try and go off in another direction or they don't want to double down or stuff like that, I think a lot of times it's because, they're comfortable with the level of success they have. And despite the fact that they're like, I want more, they, they aren't ready to receive it. They aren't ready to become the person who has more. Right. Um, and I think this is why it's so important. I think this is honestly, I think this is why the, uh, the, the comment about your income is the sum of the five people you spend the average of the five people's incomes who you spend the most time with. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, I think that's absolutely true because it's the mindset. It's the, the way that you think. It's the, the, you know, literally the higher your income goes, the, the more the way you think about money, the way you think about business, the way you think about uh, uh, c- customer growth and things like that, everything changes as you go higher up in the process. And, you know, the way that you think about it when you're making a thousand or two thousand a month versus five thousand versus ten versus twenty five, so on and so forth, you know, it it changes every time you get to a new level and you have to be willing to allow your mindset to change as your income, as you want your income to change, because it has to or else you're not going to make the shift. Right. Right. right, exactly. Your mindset absolutely has to change. Everybody, you know, it got really popular, and and I was a part of it to a degree. But like, what got really popular is this idea: just raise your frequency, which is true. But there is a mindset container ultimately that's there. However, you want to conceptualize that, but there is a mindset container. Man, I'm enjoying all day. I'm having. Yeah, well, what's your mindset around money? That It doesn't matter how high your joy is. If your mindset around money is shit, you're still not right. going to see the results you want financially, right? Yay, I don't Absolutely. care how much money. I don't need no damn money. Okay, that's fine. I don't think you'll be I honest do. with yourself, I but... Do. I do. <laughs> right? I do. <laughs> I think most people are honest. They're like, yeah, I mean, I could be okay without money. Some people, if you're that high a level of actualization, sure, you might be okay without it. But you want it, trust me. You want that money, so so you got to get that. You got to sharpen up your mindset around it and do all the things everybody's heard before. Like, money does grow on trees, you know. Like, just all the different things. I am infinitely valuable. I have incredible value. One of the big blocks is people don't think they're actually that valuable. They're like, I don't know. I'm another coach. I'm pretty good. And or if they think they're really good, then, but I don't want to mess up my perfect streak. You know, if I expand beyond this, then maybe someone's going to judge me. I'll be wrong. I'll be horrible. Okay. Okay. That's just a fear. We need to move through that. Cause even if that shows up, we need to move through that. Okay. We need to move through it now and just pretend it happened. 
you were someone judged you, you were harshly judged, or you went bankrupt, or some horrible thing happened. All right, it already happened. All right, now what? Okay, ultimately it leads back to expansion. It's like, oh, I would start again. I would, <laughs> or something like that, right? I want to go, I want to expand. I want to expand. I do want to expand with this. And just continue to take a look at the like the fear of visibility that I'm going to be rejected. I'm empathic. Oh, my God, it's going to be, I, I, people will be throwing daggers at me. I feel it. And, okay, what I'm if you taken get taken seriously? Yeah. Yeah, you like know, so. I'm, what? Oh, whatever, daggers, whatever. Okay, <laughs> they're just well, little. I want to. I want to charge more money, but rich people are assholes. Right, right, right yeah. Which is, yeah, rich people. I'm going to be the I exception. Wanna, 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 right? like, <laughs> yeah, it's just I'll be a rich person and not be an asshole. Right, I'm exactly. an asshole. I don't want to be an asshole, and I don't want to work with assholes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So just. Be you and thrive. You can be you. Be you. Just be you. Like I, we've heard it all before. I'm saying if you just be you fully and you're like, you want to serve, like that's what creates wealth is the want, desire to serve in some way, right? Even the people you right. think are asking, they're looking to serve in some sort of way, whether you like it or not. They want to serve. Well, they want to serve. You know, yeah, what I'm saying is that there's a, there's a cultural norm in the, in the woke world and I'm mm-hmm. not saying that in a bad way, but there's a cultural norm in the woke world that, that mm-hmm. rich people are assholes, that rich mm-hmm. people don't care about people, right? And mm-hmm. uh, what I'm saying is that it's a falsity, right? Right. Totally. There, there are people who are rich and there are people who are poor who are assholes, who don't care about people. Right. Right. And there are people who are rich and there are people who are poor who love people and care about them and a- act in ethical ways. And so this is the other reason to hang out with people who are in the echelon that you're aspiring to, because then you get to prove to yourself that there are people in that echelon who are not in that cultural norm that you're being programmed with every day through media, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is is one of those situations where you've got to recognize not just what is yours, but what is being programmed into you on a daily basis, right? Right. Yeah, you don't want wealth. We need more worker bees. Be, realize we're all assholes and you just want to stay down there, right? <laughs> That's how I see it, the programming. I mean, I really do. Yeah. I, I work hard. Maybe you'll get ahead. Maybe you'll get that promotion. Keep working hard, you know, instead of like operating from the huge space that you are. Where are you getting that in your education? You don't get that from the mainstream, right? Never. You're never going to get that message. Well, maybe in the future, right? So we'll see. Yeah. But we're not, we're not getting that for a reason, Okay, we can rise, we can rise above that. We can allow ourselves to realize who we are finally. Listen to Kelly's podcast and whatnot, right? We can start to realize we're a lot more than that. We're a whole lot more than that. We just get to have fun in this physical experience, doing these businesses, doing our calling, our purpose and mission, and then serving people, which is what is the real juice. And the money just happens to come along for the ride. The, the, the container is first of service, and it's like, yeah, we need the money flowing because that's what's creating the level of service that that we're intending to circulate, right? The bigger the amount of cash, the higher the level of good that is being realized in the process as long as mm-hmm. you're holding it in a container of love and service for, for everything, right? This is sort of... This is gonna gonna totally uh, serve serve this person that I'm serving right here and this this group of people and then it's gonna go out back into the community. It's going here and there. As long as you continue to be of that focus and intention, that's all it can do because that's all it is. It's just we're just playing this energetic game. Yeah, who cares? What are you gonna do? Give all your power away because other people play it a different way? Forget about it. Like play. You know, stop giving your power away. Take it back. Start being you. Mm-hmm. Be you fully and do your big thing in the world and just be like, hey, you know, 100000 a month is nothing. That's a drop in the ocean. Think about the economy. The economy has got like countless trillions of dollars in it. And we can make more zeros anytime at the end of, you know, that's what they do. They just, mm-hmm. oh, let's add some, uh, let's put some zeros in here. It's not, there's nothing real at all about it. We're making it all up as we go along. So you may as well make it up in your own way, right? Just make it all up and start having fun with it. <laughs> okay, well, I think Dan just delivered the Kellyism for the day. Oh, <laughs> I, so. I, I love it. With it. All right, okay. all right. I love it. <laughs> okay, I love it. So, so, um, Dan, how do they find you if they want to talk to you? 
Sure. They can find me at YourSacredPurpose.com. And there's a couple of things there. One, you can, there is a free meditation. So if you want to start there, that's incredible. Like I use it myself. Uh, so you've got the ability to just become open, open up the chakras a little bit, start getting your downloads for the day and get connected to the energy of money. It's the money, uh, meditate and make money meditation. So meditate and make money meditation. And I defy anybody to listen to it every day and not see your prosperity grow. I defy anybody. Every, as long as you go in open and wanting. Challenge accepted. You know, I okay, was just going to say that. Challenge, Challenge accepted. All right. All right. I'm telling you, it works. It totally works. So go get your free meditate, make money meditation. Also, there's the Rock Your Sacred Purpose Energy Scan Consultation. Rock Your Sacred Purpose Energy Scan Consultation on my website. That's another thing. For those of you who are ready to rock, truly, you know, you are powerhouses, you know your powerhouse, you're ready, you're ready to rock, you're ready to start your business, you're ready to take it to another level or take it in a new direction, whatever may be the case, I'm here to help you to do that. And it starts with that consultation, you actually have to invest in it, okay? It's unlike a lot of consultations, although you have to invest in it. You can't just, oh, just I'll talk to them for free and I'll do all this stuff for free. I will give you real value, through this real consultation. And if you're ready for more, and if it's a fit, we can do more together. I can only work with so many people at a time during, uh, in my one-to-one -one container anyway, because you know I work really powerfully and deeply with people. I really wanna intimately work with people. But I can and I definitely- And I can that. Yeah, I can definitely bring you real results in a short period of time through a consultation. I even do quick tune-ins on my podcast for my guests. They're like, oh, my God, that was so important to me, what you said. And it's changed my life. So imagine what a full consultation could do for you. So just check that out at YourSacredPurpose.com. Awesome. So he and will rock always, you, people. <laughs> as always, we'll put that in the show notes so that you can find it if yes. you're listening and you can't, you can't get to it right now. Awesome. All right. Dan, thank you for coming on the show. This has been awesome. As, and I'm a complete student and learning every day. And I've learned so much in this episode talking with you. So thank you so much. And I accept your challenge. I'm going to listen <laughs> to that meditation. I'm just saying. That way I can become, you know, boss millionaire and just, you know, hand out money and, you know, anonymously to help out people. Because that would be way cool. All right. Okay. So. Um, that is all that we have for for you this week, folks. Uh, tune in next time when Kelly adds another chapter into your guide to energy, magic, and the spirit world. I'm Jules, here with Kelly and Dan, and you have been listening to Spirit Sherpa. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.